I would like to welcome you all uh, in the lecture series of placement and training. Uh, here I am going to make you ready for the technical round for the company Johnson's Control. So first of all, before appearing technical round, you should know what is a company profile in general. Because you may get a question like, what do you know about Johnson and Control? You may get a question during either technical round or HR round. Surely you should know what they are doing, who they are. Yes. Coming to the company introduction, it is founded in the year of 8085 in USA. So still you can see how reputed the company is. Headquarters, like uh, locating in Ireland and uh, it's a multinational company. Uh, so you can see how many employees are working. Okay. So this many employees, lakhs of employees are working in Johnson Control. So if you get an opportunity, that is really great. Also, it, it's available across 150 countries across the globe. That's also a great thing because if you get an opportunity, that is really great. So what they are doing? They are actually global leaders in building technologies and solutions. They are mainly focusing on the automation and control, especially heating, ventilation and cooling, then security systems in organization then fire and safety systems. These are the few things they are having like uh, so many domains, they are still working on it. Even you will be getting a research opportunity if you join in Johnson Control. Energy efficient smart building, they are, that is a uh, trending domain, they are working on it in uh, European countries. Even industrial control and instrumentation, it's applicable to like uh, all the industries, those who want to have like automation. So like the boards, they are actually trying to expand for automation, even uh, they are also one of the competitors. Automated batteries, then L LTH brand and uh, VARTA brands. Okay, try to understand what is LTH brand and what is VARTA brand in detail before appearing for the interview. Yes, why students should know about the company? Because uh, especially the core work involves electronics, control systems, embedded systems, automation, IoT, and energy management. A strong career scope you'll be getting, especially in the domain of research and development, testing, instrumentation, embedded systems, and building solution. That is another plus point why you join for this company. Key points to remember, it's a technical plus innovation company working in sustainability and smart cities. The main values of uh, this Johnson & Control organization is integrity, innovation, customer focus, and sustainability. So they are focusing on sustainability. That is also another plus point. A great place for especially electronics and communication, electrical and electronics engineers, and uh, computer science and engineering domain. Especially uh, as a beginner, you will be getting an opportunity like a graduate engineer trainee, testing, embedded, and automation engineer. It's a great thing. Your ladder, like you can imagine. So after a certain time, you will be in the top position if you do well in that company, right? Apart from that, you will be getting a more exposure. Why? Because it's a like one of the global leader in the domain of automation and instrumentation. Of course, they used to conduct the following steps for filtering out the students. The first stage is actually aptitude test. They, they, they used to conduct aptitude test. Of course, I think uh, those who are uh, got shortlisted, I'm really congratulating you because you, you could clear the aptitude test and you should prove you are technically sound. Technical round, that is a second stage that is like a very uh, one of the most scrutiny from their side. Stage number three is actually a selection round, which is managerial or fit round with the scenario based questions. It, we can call it as an HR round also. These are the major three steps involved in the interview process. Okay, so now those who cleared aptitude test, of course, you focus on this session. And those who are yet to clear, you just try for. I have already prepared some videos. If you watch once again, they'll, they'll give a chance in future again. So try to keep on attending. Also, kindly upload your resumes in the web portal. So, Whenever the requirement comes, HR is going to shortlist and they are conducted test. Okay, so don't worry. Those who did not get selected, those who selected, you prepare well for uh, technical round and kindly watch further. So basically, technical round they are going to spend for you around the thirty to forty-five minutes, depending on the situation. It covers instrumentation topics like sensors, then transmitters, programmable logic controller basics, PAD controllers, then hard protocol. Then regarding the calibration, regarding the troubleshooting, also include the discussion for academic project and internships. If you had a very good internship history, that's a plus point. If you had a very good academic project, that also you can project. If you had published any good papers, that is also can be added one of the plus point in your resume. So please keep these points in your mind. 
regarding the instrumentation and control system focus what is sensors and what are the types of sensors what is active and passive sensors transmitters what are the importance of transmitters what is the different type of transmitter module receiver module uh, plc basics okay how does plc work okay study the basics of plc pad control strategy that you have to focus on this then hard protocol and field of field communication calibration techniques and troubleshooting workflow then DCS, CADA, fundamentals and safety. All fundamentals only required. You no need to go in-depth knowledge. Uh, if you have an in-depth knowledge, that's a plus point. But as a beginner, you should have a basics. Fundamentals should be very strong. They will train you thereafter. Why you are worrying about right now? Right now, you focus only on these questions. Focus on the important questions on transmitters, important questions on the hard protocol, okay, field communication. Then project and fundamentals. Be ready with your uh, like a past project. Some students, they used to do every semester one month project. That's a plus point. So, time being, you should understand the importance of project. That means you are come up with a challenging and so challenges and you are trying to overcome those challenges through the project. So, uh, like how you are going to challenge different type of problems. That is very important because they want the students, those who are eager to solve their problems. Correct. That's what every company wanted to solve their problems through the human resource. Uh, if you are belong to like uh, uh, like if you have a good knowledge on software, that's a plus point. Especially computer science students, you have to focus on data structure, algorithm, object-oriented programming, uh, software engineering concept. Even easy and trickly students also focus on the basic uh, knowledge on C programming, uh, then object-oriented programming, uh, then basics of software. Those things are required every because there is no bifurcation like you are non 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 IT and IT because. I, I, the engineering is purely an engineering. So uh, to have a better engineering, you should have a software knowledge because b b without software knowledge, software knowledge nowadays you cannot shine, right? So remember that uh, every uh, department should equally involve it. It's not like a, it's applicable only for IT. It's applicable only for non-IT. Uh, no bifurcation. Even mechanical engineers uh, should uh, study computer science. Correct. In the sense, like. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the company like uh, you people are working for an organization for achieving a goal suppose you don't have any software background means how will you survive that's a major question so by the way try to have a better knowledge on programming also then how to prepare for behavior and scenario based round especially once you clear next round may be like a, a hr round or a scenario based round here you may get like a, a questions like a scenario based questions for example Handling a failed transmitter in live plan, what you are going to do? Immediately transmitter module, you lost the control with the transmitter, what you are going to do? First, you need to think about the safety. Then you uh, go for the root cause analysis and uh, shift replacement. That's a major thing. First, say, say safety. Immediately you shut down everything because safety is most important. Prepare example demonstrating the teamwork, communication and working under the pressure, tight deadline or hazardous area. So these are the things you need to focus on this. Similarly, technical preparation, you focus on the instrumentation section, especially learning components, then processors, sensors, calibration, PLC, hard PAD, proportional integral and derivative controller, safety protocols, different types of standards, IEEE standard, uh, then power quality standard, those things. Apart from that, you study go for like a small type of chip design. Nowadays, they are working on the VLSA domain also. So basics of VLSA is also one of the advantage. Then uh, for uh, computer science section, uh, refresh the data structure, object-oriented programming, and the basic algorithms. So regarding the project, you have to choose one to two projects, which you have done very well in your lower semesters. Structure your explanation using the STAR method. STAR method in the sense, it is a situation-based. It is actually T stand for task-based, uh, A stand for action-based, and R for result. These things should be involved whenever you are explaining your project or internships. So some students, they have done very well in your project during the lower semester, kindly apply the STAR method because now only you have to prepare how, what you are going to present about the project. You should have a good idea, try to collect your report and work, work on it. That's a major suggestion I want to suggest you for your uh, coming round. The scenario-based behavior round, you should like uh, rehearse the answers for operational uh, scenario, especially safety protocol, failure handling situation, you talk about the teamwork because you will be working in, as a team in, in the company. So you should know the importance of teamwork and to practice questions like, tell me something about yourself. That is evergreen question for every interview. And why Johnson Control? So why you selected John, Johnson Control? What is the reason for choosing Johnson Control? Then how do you resolve the conflicts? And sometimes how do you solve the conflicts? Regarding the mock test and mock interview, conduct a timed test actually if possible. Uh, you need to conduct a timed test. Practice the mock interview with the peer or mentors. Even your teachers also. We used to conduct the mock test for our students. You try to attend the mock, explore. 
uh, the practice sessions with your uh, like mentors and placement officers, technical and HR on preparation should have a good idea. The regarding the sample questions, you may get the sample questions like this from the technical, explain your project and challenges. So focus on the STAR method and try to prepare for the, try to address these all STAR segment. I already explained what is STAR. Then instrumentation, explain the PAD control or what do you transmitter fails? What you will do once the transmitter fails? You like uh, uh, focus on the following steps like detection, isolation, replace, and calibration. These are the basic procedure which is applied in every company. Then software fundamentals. What is uh, object-oriented programming? What is the difference between object-oriented programming and the procedure-oriented programming? Similarly, what is data structure? Okay. Similarly, you will be getting similar kind of questions on the data structure. What is bubble sorting? So likewise, you will be getting so many things. What are the different type of data type? Okay. Similarly, you, you may get like a, a re, use real time examples, like a queue for the process scheduling. Then scenario based problems are live failure in plant. What you are going to do? Prioritize the safety. That's the first thing. Minimal downtime. Okay. Then proper escalation. HR and behavior around, you will be getting like a tell me something about yourself. Uh, why? Why, why, what is the reason for joining in Johnson & Control? Team conflict solution. How will you solve the team conflicts? Be honest and be confident and focused on like with the company value. Try to go through the mission and the vision of the organization. Whenever you are attending for any interview, you should understand the goal and objective of the company because you are supposed to contribute something uh, when you join the company. So you need to understand their value and what are the protocols, right? So... Final uh, for like a uh, points I would like to suggest you go for like a uh, uh, situation task action ba result based approach that is called a star based approach every organization uh, like in a planned safety first so first step you need to focus focus on the safety later prevent the downtime and go for running then know your fundamentals be sharp on the instrumentation uh, then sharp on the control system and uh, be, uh, you should know about the fundamentals of data structure and object oriented programming that is very important uh, even you can go through some like a core domains like a basic electronics dlsi etc then practice delivery clear confident and concise response to go longer way be yourself you are consistent honest behavior or personality responses suppose if you don't know the answer you can say directly i don't know i'll be collecting the information uh, like at, at this point of time, I cannot express myself. Those things you can convey, not an issue because don't give uh, any fake reasons or any fake answers. I wish you all the very best for your uh, success for uh, your Johnson & Control interview. Uh, prepare very well and uh, crack the interview. If you be yourself and if you can prepare well, definitely you can crack the interview. There is no issue. Uh, if you have any help, if you require any support, you can uh, type to the comment box. We can also give. In the coming session, I'm going to give like the most probable questions based on the technical. These are the overview I have given in this session. According, you can plan preparation. Apart from that, I wanted to help you for studying different type of uh, technical questions. Let me come, come up with the new technical questions and HR uh, and the strategy questions for the uh, coming session. Uh, if you are watching our channel, first time request you to subscribe. Also, kindly share the particular video to the stakeholders who are prepare, preparing for similar kind of core company jobs. Uh, I wish you all the very best for your uh, on online uh, like or technical interview and uh, do well from your side. Thank you. Thank you all. Have a great day.